Congressman Dan Amuser joins us right now, the Pennsylvania Republican Congressman. Um, Congressman, if the good doctor is right, and no need to doubt him, he's the best out there, when he says things like he sees a turning point and that the cycle is turning in terms of cases, hospitalizations, and hopefully in time, deaths, that it could be happening right, right beneath us. We're just not seeing it or appreciating it. What do you think? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to hear that. Uh, we all want to see this thing flatten and, and get around this, uh, this new peak that, that uh, has developed. Um, so let, let's keep going. Let's do the things that need to be done uh, to have a safe work environment, safely go back to schools. Uh, if it's masks, so be it. You know, one of the biggest problems with masks were that people felt that they were being they were being directed to and being imposed on their liberties, if you will, rather than saying, hey, this is what's necessary. Let's truly do all of this together. And if we do this, then we can, in fact, open smarter and safer and truly be in, be in all this together. I think there were some leadership issues, but sure, it got political, and, and that's too bad. But let's 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 be happy about where things are going and move forward safely and smartly. You know, um, Doctor, you're, uh, or Congressman, you're far more familiar with the, the, the pace of all of this, but the Biden administration has come in and discovered the administration, the prior administration, had no plan to deal with the virus. And I'm thinking to myself, well, it was Operation Warp Speed. That was a plan. Yeah. I got these yeah. vaccines out pretty quickly. What did you make of this back and forth? Well, look, look. There was, of course, a plan. Uh, it, it was criticized. There were a number of mistakes made on the state level, uh, on the federal level. Uh, you know, the, uh, President Biden has now laid out some of these EOs, some of these executive orders. Nobody really likes executive orders. It's easy to beat up on them. But many of them are in line with opening safely. They're not about closing. Right? They are about opening the economy, doing the things that are necessary, more vaccine distribution. Certainly a couple of his executive orders from yesterday and shutting down the, the Keystone Pipeline, uh, to me, was, was the, very much the wrong move. That's not a positive lean forward um, plan. But, but let's, let's embrace those that really do make sense in the end. A number of these are going to require le legislation. And we've, we've, hey, we've got to look forward. Right. We, we've got to be part of opening safely, getting the vaccines out, investing where necessary, be part of recovery. And we have a close majority in the House, 50 50 in the Senate. Maybe we can work together. You know, President Biden can can weigh in here a lot on how united we actually uh, can be and move forward together. All right. We'll see what happens. Congressman Muser, great catching up with you. I do appreciate it, sir. You too.